Hello there everyone, my name is Chris and today we're going to be looking at the new SparkFun ProtoShield kit. This is an easy to solder board that shouldn't take you too much time to put it together. We've completely overhauled it from the previous version by essentially taking one of our solderable breadboards and combining it with an Arduino R3 shield. We're going to be going over some of the specs first and then go into an assembly guide. So if you want to go and grab your soldering iron, you should be back in time to follow along. Looking at the board, we can easily tell that it is in the Arduino Uno R3 footprint. Headers can be installed on the pins located closest to the edge of the board. The header pins are also broken out on the other side of the labeling, so closer into the middle of the board. You will notice that the header on the upper right side of the board is slightly offset. Don't worry, that is intentional so that you can place the board on a standard breadboard as well. In the center of the board will be the large prototyping area, the major feature of the board, hence what it's named after. Large prototyping area has been split down the middle to provide you with two different prototyping type areas. Half of the sea of plated through holes were designed with a breadboard in mind, whereas the other side is a more typical protoboard design. At the top of the board, there is an area for both blue smurf and software serial to connect. While at the bottom of the board, you have an area for your SPI connectors, as well as a removable testing set that allows you to make sure that your circuit actually functions. And yes, it can be very easily removed. Just snap it off the board, sand it down, and you're good to go. First step to soldering this Pro Shield kit is we're gonna go ahead and put on the headers. Best way to do this is just to grab one end of the header and then tack on the other end. Once you've put in all the headers and tacked them in place, then you can go through the line and make sure that they're all secured. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and put on the buttons. There are two buttons in this kit, one for reset and one for the prototyping test area. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that they're both soldered on securely, but be careful not to accidentally snap off the test area. Third, we're gonna go ahead and solder on the two yellow LEDs onto the prototyping test area. Make sure that the anode side is aligned with the negative sign on the test area silk. Make sure they're secured in place before soldering so that way they're flush with the board. Step four are the resistors. We're gonna start with the 10K ohm resistor first. You can tell because there's only one of them. Make sure you pay attention to the silk on the board before soldering into place. Once we have the 10K ohm resistor soldered into place, we're gonna go ahead and solder in the two 330 ohm resistors. And if everything is soldered into place correctly, you are done. Shown here, we've went ahead and just attached this to one of our red boards to show how it looks. Hopefully the assembly guide did help you solder this guy together. It took me about 10 to 15 minutes, so it's not a particularly hard kit. The PCB is also offered on its own, so if you don't want it in a kit form, you have that option as well. So if you're wanting to get into prototyping with Arduino, the SparkFun ProShield kit is a very good option to make. How's it? <coughs> Ow! <laughs> Trying not to sneeze right now. Are you down? Good buddy. Hard kit.